So I just want to set up this video for you guys, if the cicadas will give me a chance. But anyways, uh, my intention for this video was to show the Mitchell's Bay Open. It's a great two-day bass tournament down on Lake St. Clair. Um, Mike and I really look forward to it. It's a really well-run tournament, great prizes, and we get to stay with some fun people down there. And uh, we just really look forward to it. We have a good time down there. So, Anyways, we pre-fished day two. We were on some fish. We had some big fish areas and some limit fish areas, so we were pretty confident to get up some fish. And uh, we fished the first day of the tournament. We went out and fished, and we really didn't get big fish. Let this guy go by. We didn't really get any big fish, but we did get a limit of, you know, okay fish, 14 pounds and change. So day two, we were just going to go for big fish. Big fish was still a pretty good prize, and we actually won it last year, so we were hoping to do a repeat on that. But uh, we got in that night, went out for dinner, and then I got a phone call from home that my my uh, a big thunderstorm had gone by and my basement was flooding so kind of cut my tournament short, short I had to go home and rip out my basement which is pretty disappointing so I threw together some clips from the pre-fish and a little bit I did shoot on day one because I did intend on shooting more on day two so there's some interesting stuff there kind of shows some of the baits near the end so hopefully it's interesting for you and hopefully you enjoy it good start to the day Still need bigger ones than that. Not so big. Be bigger. A little bonus fish pre-fishing for smallmos. Nice pike.
Again? get out of here and expand on it. So fishing's been a little tough on St. Clair because these fish are very well fed. These are all mayfly cases. It's just a field of them. There's lots of bugs to eat so they don't have to eat what we're offering but we still manage to catch some. Look at the it's just all muck, eh? Day two practice is over, boat's charging up, getting ready for tomorrow. We gotta go to the pig roast next. And uh, pretty excited about tomorrow. We've got some fish, whether they're big enough, I don't know. We'll see that tomorrow, but pretty decent numbers on our small fish spot. Our big fish spot is big fish, but not many bites, so we'll have to figure that out tomorrow. But uh, we're gonna start for big ones and go for broke. Rods are rigged. You ready? I'm ready. We're ready. So here's my starting lineup for tomorrow. I'm down to five rods basically that hopefully I can get away with. So big jerk bait, little jerk bait, this little flit, really like that one. Small tube. This was what we got most of our bites on. It is a fluffy shiner jig from Sail Fishing with an Angler's Choice Sniper Shad on the back. That's been the workhorse so far and most of our big bites have come on that. 
basically swim bait. Uh, angler's choice kill shot on a drop shot. Haven't got a lot of drop shot fish, but we'll keep trying. But I'm not going to force the issue if they don't want to bite it. That's fine. We'll get them on something else. And then a couple large mouth rods just in case. I got a flip and stick with a jig and a, I think it's a crankbait on the other one. I'll probably have to switch that out. But large mouth just in case. Hopefully we don't have to fish large mouth. So kill shot, fluffy, tube, small jerk bait, big jerk bait. Hopefully that'll cover us. Headed to the registration meeting and the pig ropes. Should be fun. Morning day one. Looks like a wet one, but we're ready to go. You ready to get them? Yeah, let's get them. All right, we're off. Are we going to be caught? The answer is yes. Pretty much you can do that. You can find them. Carl, buddy. Morning. Go get them this morning, bro. Thank you. Everyone's getting launched. We're like last in line, but we're number two, so we're good. <laughs> Here we go. Blast off, man. So we're in, we caught five little runs to weigh in. A little disappointed with the day, but hey, that's the way it goes. Ugh. So day one done, kind of disappointed, we only had 14 and change, we have the same excuse, we dropped some fish that were big, which, which is true, but it's not an excuse, so. tomorrow, big fish, still worth about 1800 bucks.